Okay, hello and thank you and welcome to another n session here for your control scans. Somebody had asked me the other day saying, how do I do this and how do I get this to work right? So what I've done here is I have a client here who has submitted two scans. And I'm going to go to the first one here and I'm going to double click on this. What it's going to do is open up an instance of the Visualizer 3D software. Once this is open, then one of, for this particular video here, I'm going to turn around and just resize it so it fits into the window. So you can take a look at it. And then I'm going to come to the second one. I'm going to double click that here. And as you see, it's going to open up a second instance of the Visualizer 3D software. Okay. Now the customer submitted these two here without um, sizing the second one. But both are done exactly at the same dimensions. So, one moment, let me come over here and grab this, make this the same. Come to the first one, I'm going to push F9 to find out he did this by 3 and 2.5 two and meters. I click OK, come over here. F9, I'm going to change this to 3 meters, and the second one here to 2.5 meters. Okay, okay, and then I'm going to just resize it. I'm just mousing over right now with the uh, wheel on the mouse in order to change the height. So you can take a look at them side by side. When you have scans like this that are done side by side, take a look. You have over here in this region, you have a target. Coming over here in this region, you have a target. You're comparing the two. And this is probably the most effective way of looking at your scans and saying, do I have something there? Because if you see this here, when you have it in one scan, even though the colors are a little different, here I have a target coming over here. Here I have a target. So, when looking at the target and coming over here and saying, here it is, you can see an actual area there where the target is. And the same over here. If we move this, our lines were not quite exactly the same position, but we're really, really close. This could depend on the speed that was actually traveled. And when you look at these scans here, they appear, appear pretty much to be the same if I go to the side, oh, moment, hold on. If I would change my view to the side view, um, and I change this one to the side view, and I zoom it in, you see how this looks very, very close to each other? This is what we're looking for. Something like this is the example that we're trying to create. All right, thank you very much. And if you need any help, just give us a call here at OKM or at or drop us an email at info at OKM.com. Thank you.